So tonight I'm doing something really special. I'm going to do a Bride of Frankenstein look, classic. The classic Bride of Frankenstein is what I'm going to attempt. I have black hairspray, white hairspray, um, the latex for her scarring. So we're gonna see. Um, now, the original look is, you know, she's in black and white, so her lips look black, but I think I'm gonna use red or like a blood color on my lips. We'll see, I'll decide as we get closer. I might just do black since she is in black and white. Hmm, we'll just see when I get there what'll happen. Who knows, who knows what'll happen. But this right here is uh, my grave, it's my little, let's see, it's got little gators on it. This is my graveyard girl uh, curler. I have this and this attaches to it. It's like the spiral one. And then it also comes with these two sizes and it's just, like kind of hollow look. I'm just combing it out a little bit. Um, okay, and then when it's ready, it turns from blue to green. It's really cool, I love this. Well, I haven't used this one, but the hair dryer and the flat iron are fantastic. So let me get this done just to see how it works. And it may not work, my hair doesn't take to being played with nicely so we'll see but I'm gonna speed this portion up because there's just no reason for it the, for you to see me put every curl in okay so I don't understand why this is so so it looks crazy right now I just did it a little bit to kind of give it a little body and texture and no I didn't film me doing any of it and I apologize for that but you know I'm not good at my hair <laughs> but right this one I'll be good at because I literally just got to flip my head over and spray it and get it to all stand up but I just wanted to take this to it to help give it a little more body to make the spray in easier and maybe I can even use a little less hairspray the bride has a lot more hair than I do so you work with what you got you know, I should have got Aquanet. This is that Pantene Air Spray, and I don't know if it has the molding ability that a nice can of Aquanet will have. Okay, guys, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're literally gonna go outside and spray my hair with just some cheap black hairspray. Smells like spray paint. Or sounds like spray paint. Probably smells like it, too. Okay. You can't really see it against the blacks, but when I do the makeup, I'll have the uh, door behind me so you'll be able to see the hair a lot better. But now I'm gonna go do the white stripes up the side. Okay, so that's good enough for now. I'll do some fine finishing touches at the end, but you know, I'm not good with hair, so, and I don't have that much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just taking this really cheap white cream makeup I bought and put it in a little container and then I'm going to take the lightest color foundation I have, which neither one of those are it. Okay, here it is. It's this color pop, which I'm gonna say this pump. I think you've heard me complain about the pump before though. I'm gonna pour a little bit in here with the white cream. And then I need a clean brush. I'm just not prepared. I'm just gonna use the end of this brush to mix it up. I mix it in there and then I just determine do I need more white do I need more of the foundation because you know she's in black and white so her skin is really really white this beauty blender I got a set of five of these from Amazon in different colors I got green yellow green yellow blue purple and pink and I, it was five dollars for the five of them and I love them and uh, if I can find the link to that purchase I will put it down below I should uh, become an affiliate at Amazon which as much as I link them okay we're just gonna do black and gray around the eyes it's not real heavy on her and just a little bit 
She doesn't really have her eyes lined. Like, oh my God, what will I do? Because I love my eyeliner. That's basically it for her eyes, and I'll do the lips after I do the the scars. So I got some liquid latex, shake it up, and I have, I got this black highlighter, not your basic witch, and I'm thinking I might use a little bit on her, uh, maybe around here. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. So then I want to go in with a brush like this that's like a little wide but flat. And then I have my liquid latex. You might want to do this in a well ventilated area. And so she has a scar up here. I'm going to need to shine this light on me for a minute. Um, but I studied a lot of pictures of her and her scars are they're obvious but they don't have huge stitches on them and stuff now when I do the modern one she's gonna have stitches cuz I love doing stitches <laughs> okay now you know that now that I think about it I should have probably done this before I did any foundation because I'm gonna have to blend it anyway it's okay it's gonna be fine it does not take long at all to dry, but you want to make sure that it does dry completely. And a lot of people don't like the smell. Um, it's, you know, it's gross. I don't want to like have perfume that smells like this, but I think I'm used to it and it doesn't really bother me too much. And then she also has a scar under here that kind of goes here and then goes around as it dries I want to add a couple layers of latex because even though her scar she doesn't have big stitches on them they're still pretty predominant and I'm actually going down after they completely dry I'm going to go down the center of them with black because they're prominent and they're they're dark because they're deep because they're, it's sewn onto her. So okay, so while I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna try and do the lips, and I think I'm gonna use this Wet and Wild uh, body stick I got. Is it? I never open it. <laughs> I'm just so unprepared all the time. Okay, I try and. Like I said, it was in black and white, but I think it, if it was in color, her lips would be kind of this blood red. And she does have a very slight overdraw, so I'm going to try and do that. Okay, okay. I think it's dry enough now. I could start working on the scars. I pinned my hair up in the back to push it up some, and I think that looks a lot better, and I'll just give it more... Um, white hairspray on the sides when I'm done with this step. Um, real quick, I want to do her eyebrows. I'll just use this cheap because hers are very thin, very dark, and very long. But I am not gifted at eyebrows, so it's probably pretty. It's pretty much going to follow the shape of mine. And I forgot to cover mine with the glue, so we make do. This really is the most piece of crap <laughs> black eyeliner I've ever bought. I got it at Five Below. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the scars. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this very, very fine paintbrush right here and just kind of just do this just to make sure it's dry. Um, 
Now this isn't an open wound. If it was an open wound, I would go and I would lift it up. And I would have probably even added a little bit of tissue paper or cotton. But yeah, it's pretty well dry. So what I'm gonna do now to make it look deeper, I'm gonna go over it very slowly and carefully with this eyeliner just very slowly because you don't want to mess up when you're using black like I did the eyebrows and after I do this I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go over it and um, you know blend it try to blend the scar tissue out okay so now I'm taking a powder hoping that I don't need to use any foundation to get this blended out yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have to. Um, Cause the latex is a little shiny, so I thought maybe if I just go over it with the powder, I won't have to use any foundation on it and compromise the black on it because again, I did that backwards. But I kind of feel like that scar gives my face shape like this, but I don't wanna put a fake scar on me just so my face will look a little more narrow. <laughs> an apple face so this is actually another very simple makeup you can do if you want to do something more elaborate add more scars there's no rules like I always say oh you know what though I gotta do the things right did she have those okay I just checked she doesn't have the little knobby things so that's good. I was just gonna spray paint some Coke bottle caps with silver spray paint and then spirit gum them onto my neck, but she doesn't have them. So I'm picking the right, see these brushes right here, worthless. Um, first of all, look at how they bend and the bristles just spread out as soon as you open the package. Garbage. I don't ever wanna see that in here again. You know what, this will be good, this little sponge tip and I'm gonna go in with um, this kind of in this chocolate bar palette there's this, this dark 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 brown that's kind of a grayish black it actually I do think it's a grayish black it's not brown at all so I'm gonna go into that dip it off a little bit and then go into this purple underneath it and go into the scar a little bit more and just trying to give it a little a little dimension turn that up so I can get more light okay now I'm gonna try something that she's not pulling off in Bride of Frankenstein but I just thought she should have some highlights, some black highlights around her face. And I got this fantastic Wet n Wild highlighter at Walmart. Oh look, it's, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little skull in there. Anyway, I'm getting ready to mess that up. So I'm gonna give her some highlights. Bit like the eyeliner. She doesn't have very heavy eyeliner on. She's just supposed to look like a risen corpse, so. I don't know why I make those funny faces when I'm doing makeup. Okay, let me go finish up this hair, and I think I'll be ready. You know what? I decided I can't live without my creation having a little bit of um, shiny highlight, so I'm just going to put some around her eyes. I got this real pale stuff that I don't ever use. I got it in an Ipsy, so I may as well use it here. I 
I mean, I'm using my finger because look how tiny that pan is. Because it's just like a sample size. white and put her dress on. I want to add this is also going to be my Annabelle, Annabelle, <laughs> Annabelle dress except I have it on backwards you know because you know the Bride of Frankenstein wasn't known for her fashion sense so um, the, the, the other side of this is kind of like Annabelle's dress it's completely see-through, so I do have to find something to wear under it. I just spit. I apologize for that. But I let, like her, too. I might. I don't know if I want to do this to my hair again, though. But I do like it. Quite a bit. Yeah. I like it. So, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm really starting to get into this more and more. Um, I am... Um, I don't really know that I'm any better at it than I was in the beginning, but I do enjoy doing it quite a bit. So, um, you know, this highlight is killing it though, huh? All right. So, and I know her arms and hands are wrapped up, but I didn't do that. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this and thanks so much for watching and I will talk to all of you later. Bye.